One of America's most celebrated crooners has died. Tony Bennett passed away this morning at the age of 96. His career spanned seven decades, earning him 20 Grammy Awards. Daniel Backus takes a look back at Bennett's life. I left my heart. San Francisco. Tony Bennett may have left his heart in San Francisco, but his road to fame started in New York. Oh, it's wonderful. Anthony Dominic Benedetto was born in Queens in 1926. He started singing as a child and eventually got a job as a singing waiter. But his big break came in 1949 when Pearl Bailey asked him to open for her. Sitting in the audience was Bob Hope, who was so impressed he took the young singer under his wing. Well, he said, what's your real name? I said, Anthony Dominic Benedetto. He said, well, that's too long for the marquee. He said, let's, let's Americanize it and call you Tony Bennett. Taking a chance on love. Tony Bennett went on to have a string of hits in the 50s and 60s. I walk along the street of Sado. And spent the next decades performing to sold-out crowds. Anything goes. In his later years, Bennett recorded duets with popular artists like Lady Gaga and Amy Winehouse, attracting a younger generation of fans. San Francisco. Donya Backus, CBS News. Bennett was also an accomplished painter, and some of his work is on display at Cafe Biagio in St. Paul. Owner Sherry Breed says that Bennett and his band would go to the restaurant's original location whenever they were in town. And Bennett became good friends with Mama, the mother of Sherry's business partner, who created many of the restaurant's recipes. He ended up painting portraits of Mama and her husband. He was always a really nice, nice man. You know, there were a lot of celebrities and mamadies that would come through, but they weren't all as nice as, as he was. And be sure to check this out this weekend. We will be playing an encore of One Last Time, an evening with Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. And you can see it here on WCCO Sunday night at 8.